Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and we're going to take a look at some of the ticker symbols that are in play today. Okay, these are all stocks that we have been charting in our chat, so please come join us and uh, we'll help teach you how to trade using charts and technical analysis. Okay, here's VRX. Okay, big uh, winner today, up 23%. So uh, congratulations to everybody on this big breakout. Uh, the bullish move today was the, the gap up open above the 50-day simple moving average, which is this green line here. That is the key level to hold on a on a pullback that is currently at 1058. Okay, uh, right now it's hitting this uh, resistance zone right here from uh, back here in March. If it can break above that, the, the key level to break is going to be this 100 day simple moving average at 1273. So that is our next target. We're expecting that to get tested tomorrow. If it can close above that level, um, you can see back here there was a, a key support level um, just a, a around this 1340, 1350 zone. Um, notice how it held back here in uh, January and then again back here in December and, and so uh, in order to break out and, and test this uh, 17 level and possibly the 200 day simple moving average it's going to have to bust above this 1340-1350 uh, zone so if they can get above that level um, you could possibly see a run back up to 17 and uh, possibly test the 200 day simple moving average it's all going to come down to this 100 simple moving average here at 1273 fail to break it and you're going to see consolidation look for a reload back off of 50 day simple moving average support there is a gap between high of day yesterday and low of day today the giant volume spike today look at this over 110 million shares traded is a signal that that VRX has more upside potential looks like we got a big uh, bear squeeze going on right now um, so yeah so as long as the charts remain bullish there'll be more upside potential keep in mind that today's candle is forming above the upper Bollinger Band which is at 1099 so this is a, a, a frothy move uh, on this breakout if you look up here though there is still a little more juice to run on on RSI before the 70 over bot level that has been a top in the past you do have uh, Fasto now at 90 okay so let's look at MNKD okay there was really nice follow through on, on this play today um, the key level here on RSI is 50 notice it's hitting 49 it needs to break above 50 to, to keep the bullish momentum going you have Fasto now above 80 bulls would like to see a crossover here on ADX you want to see this green line cross the red line to the upside so now this is going on a four-day move. Uh, notice the uh, four green volume bars down here. And uh, w w yesterday, you know, th th we were looking for a close above the middle Bollinger Band. It closed right at that middle Boll Bollinger Band level at 1.0. Um, today, the, the move is above that level. So it's going for a close above the middle Bollinger Band. It did make a higher high, so that is good. Um, as long as this middle Bollinger Band turns into support, a new uptrend should begin. Um, similar to the last chart, it's hitting uh, resistance from this prior support zone. If it can bust through this 120-125 zone, then we're thinking there could be a run up here to the upper Bollinger Band and the 50-day simple moving average at 152. On a pullback, you want to see the, the $1 and middle Bollinger Band level hold. As, as long as that holds, this new uptrend should continue. So uh, this is a nice uh, move for MNKD. We'll see if it can continue. Okay, let's look at NAO. This is a, a chart that's uh, heating up. You've got RSI now above 50. Um, you know, the, the upper wick on today's candle has pulled back fast dose so and now there's more juice to run this is the bullish crossover I was talking about on the last chart notice how the green line crossed the red line to the upside that's a signal the bulls are heating up um, this is the upper wick I was talking about that that shows profit taking and possibly dilution never what you want to see um, but the key on this chart is this green line this is the 50-day simple moving average a close above that level would be bullish and that would put this uh, bottom of the gap level notice this is the bottom of the gap there was a big drop here this is the top of the gap this is uh, signifying the gap here. And so uh, it could see a run back to the top of the gap, almost hit that level and pulled back. A close above the bottom of the gap, that's going to put the 100-day simple moving average at 181 on deck. Notice volume is picking up. So yeah, the, the, the long upper wick on today's candle is not desirable, but the key on this chart is the 50-day simple moving average. Going forward, candles forming above signal more upside potential. Fail to break will signal the consolidation will continue. Okay, let's look at CXRX. Okay, this is been on this nice multi-day run. Okay, now you're at overbought levels on RSI and Fasto with the bearish crossover starting on Fasto. Um, you've got this uh, really strong move on, on ADX with uh, plus DI crossing both minus DI and ADX to the upside showing the bulls are clearly in control. Okay, you've got this multi-day run here. Okay, this is looking like uh, bearish three gap, gap ups reversal pattern has formed. Notice uh, one, two, 
three. You've got the three gaps here. And, and then uh, th there was a close yesterday above the 50-day simple moving average, which is the green line. There, there was a gap here as well. So uh, so yeah, that, that pattern might have already formed. Um, the, the, the bottom line is, is that the, uh, the, the chart is getting uh, frothy here. But um, the, the key on this chart is going to be this 50 days or 100 day simple moving average at 197. You want to see a close above that level and then that level turn into support to be able to launch higher. Um, if, if you look here, you'll see that there's a, a small unfilled gap between high of day yesterday and low of day today. Notice how today's candle is forming completely above the upper Bollinger Band at 178. This is similar. This is a really frothy move, especially when you consider it. Look at all these uh, volume bars in a row. This is a multi day run with this uh, big climax spike. So this could be the top of this current run. We'll see if it can keep pushing higher. Um, if it pulls back, look for a gap fill. And then this uh, EMA4 and then the 50-day simple moving average at 165 to hold. That would be the, the, the reload level on a pullback if uh, the 100-day simple moving average fails to hold. Uh, if it does hold the 100-day simple moving average, th then you can see here the 200-day simple moving average is all the way up at 428. Um, another key resistance level is going to be uh, right here around uh, 225, 230. Okay, that's going to be the next key level to break if it can continue higher tomorrow. Okay, uh, yeah, and then you've also got this, uh, what it's hitting on right now is uh, the support from that level. So you've got this uh, prior uh, prior consolidation zone, and so it's hitting the uh, this prior support level, which will act as resistance. So it'll be uh, we'll see if it can get through this key level. You know, there's a few weeks of consolidation at this level; it might be tough to break. Okay, let's look at SMSI. Okay, this is another ticker symbol that um, is setting up um, for uh, you know it, it has this nice uptrend going. Okay, so you got RSI and Fasto still below overbought levels, but they're not um, you know they, they they're, they're getting close. Um, you do have plus DI above ADX and minus DI showing the bulls are in control. There's this really nice uptrend going that started with this uh, candle that with the close above the middle Bollinger Band and the 50-day simple moving average. Notice how the green line held on the pullback. Now the key is this 100-day simple moving average at 133. Notice how the upper wicks in these candles have been testing that level. What we're looking for is a close above that level to put a possible run to the 200-day simple moving average on deck. Look at the giant volume spike today. Okay, there's big volume behind the move. The upper wick does show some profit taking possibly dilution but you know if you notice that the, there was a big volume before this and then now now there's more loading so it looks like this could be uh, gearing up for a push through resistance and a possible break higher if it fails to bust through the 100-day simple moving average, that's going to signal that consolidation is continuing. And then if that happens, you're going to be looking for, once again, this 50-day simple moving average to hold on a pullback. It looks like after testing this for multiple days, it could finally be ready to push higher. We will see if it can break it tomorrow. So keep an eye on it. Okay, let's look at MVAX. This is a stock that was looking really promising this morning. Um, it was really heating up. And then Motley Fool put out an article uh, kind of trashing the, the stock. And it seems like after that article was posted, the the, the bears came out and started attacking. Uh, RSI and Fasto need to get above 50. Um, there, there is a bullish crossover here uh, with plus DI crossing minus DI to the upside. Uh, once again, you've got this upper long upper wick. So the uh, the long upper wick in the candle that shows that that even though the bulls ran up to high a day, the bears attacked and pulled it all the way back to here. So that that's showing that 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 there's uh, you know the uh, possible dilution but definitely profit taking and uh, definitely bears attacking. So so the key on this chart is going to be this middle Bollinger Band, the dotted purple line currently at 0 0.824. As long as that holds, a new uptrend should continue. Okay, it needs to break through the upper Bollinger Band at 913 to test this 50-day simple moving average at 1108. That's going to be our target if this middle Bollinger Band turns into support. Fail to turn the middle Bollinger Band to support and the downtrend should continue. I mean, there's a micro gap between low of day, high of day yesterday and low of day today. If there's a pullback, that gap will fill. There is a, a bullish volume spike today and a bullish reversal pattern forming. Notice all the, the red candles in a row. This is forming a bullish kicking reversal pattern. So tomorrow we'll be looking for a, 
uh, confirmation of that pattern. Okay, and this will be the final chart we'll look at in this video, and this is DRWI, another stock up big today, up 24%. Okay, so RSI is breaking 50. Um, it, Fasto is now above 50 as well. That that That's uh, signaling the chart is heating up and building strength. Uh, another bull cross on ADX. And so this is similar to some of these other plays where what, what we have going on is we have this nice move, a big bounce, and then the middle Bollinger Band at 115. That's going to be the key level to hold. We want to see it close above that level today. And then as you can see, it ran up to our next target, which is the 50-day simple moving average at 129. Notice back here on the 14th of March, it closed above that level, but it failed to hold. And there was even a nasty gap down. Look at the big gap down. So that always sucks for people that bought on this day. And uh, so, so going forward, the key is we got to get a close above the 50-day simple moving average. If that happens and then it holds then you'll be talking about the 100-day simple moving average. Right now, this is a nasty downtrend, and this is just a short cover rally and a dead cap bounce. So we'll, we'll see if, if there's more to it. We will know if there's more to the rally by whether or not the middle Bollinger Band can turn into support and 50-day simple moving average can break. Uh, volume is picking up today. That's always a good sign, but there was an upper wick on today's candle showing profit taken and possibly uh, they could possibly have sold shares into the rally. Okay, so yeah, thank you for viewing this chart. If you'd like to learn more, check us out at mychart.com. Coach.com and our YouTube channel at mychartcoach.com. Thank you.